Huh? And Opie is a Met fan. Opie's big Met fan. I'm yeah. an yes. Islanders fan. Good morning. I'm a Rangers Rangers fan. How you doing, Patrice? Good to see you again. Yeah, my baseball season's over too. Ours not over. The Yankees aren't over. Oh. oh, really? Hey, you go. Good thing They're you filled us in on that. Tonight. That's our sports segment of the winter. program. I don't know okay. anybody here. What is it? Out with the old, in with the new, I guess? Or what? Out with the old. This, what are you talking about? I see you got all the They've been here a year, these guys. <laughs> they weren't here last year when we were here. They're interns. They're always new. They turn over like every three months. Oh, maybe you uh, can hire yeah. her to be a part all of it. All right, what is Lady Di up to? Lady Di, last we heard from you, you were drunk. You had no job, Aww. you had lost your oh, wait, kid, wait, wait, wait. and your uh, ex had been run over by a choo-choo train. Oh, no, no, no. Now, no, 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 I want to know, no, no. that's oh, God, the no. past. That's hey, the, oh, that's the past. Oh, God, no. I want to know there. what's happening now. I have two jobs now. All right, what are and they? And I work every almost every day. Two what, jobs? What are the jobs? What are the jobs? Yeah. Waking up and going to bed. <laughs> That's one of the jobs. <laughs> she works two jobs. Tom, I work two Tom jobs. Two oh, part time jobs. Oh. Hey, what's yeah. uh, Lady Dye. Oh. Uh, Lady Dye. What? Oh, what? oh, oh, that's tragic. Oh, there goes one ex. Her ex what? Ma'am, I'm still married. Me and my husband celebrated 11 year anniversary two weeks ago. 11 years of wedded. Oh, yeah. 11, 11 years of yeah. awfulness. Do you have kids? No. No, of course you not. Guys, uh, they, they did something right. Does he uh, pull no, that afro no every We have cats. Does he, what? Do they pull the front of that afro every once Hold in a while? Hold on. Or? We got a crackly mic. We got a crackly mic. <laughs> oh, yeah. no. crackly mic. What? Oh, you guys will share that. Yeah, I'm go share. Yeah, I'm share that mic. Share that mic. You two girls, get close. Get close to each other. I'm happy with everything going on in my yeah, life. Let's die. Go turn over to that mic. You kids? You married? I got nothing, honey. I got nothing. You don't have no girlfriend, no uh, boyfriend, no wife, no, no anybody? You got to get on the microphone. Get on the microphone. Get on the microphone. Talk you know what to call them ladies. What do you have? Uh, I got nothing, sweetie. Yeah. Nothing you know. by yourself? Yeah, I'm sorry. All by yourself? Some I people are very somewhere. Some people are very happy alone. I have a girlfriend. I, I would fix them up. Are you going to the? Oh, you got a girl I can fit you yeah, seriously? Yeah. Oh, we know a few people. Who? We know a few people. Who? 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 What's your name? Who? Who? Oh my God. Who? What's your name? Just tell me. What's your name? No, no, not. So many secrets, Lady Di has. She's always like, come on, tell me your name. Jane. Like there's Jane? so many yeah, things yeah. that need well, not be not said. Donut. Is she nice? Dunkin' yes. Donuts. Do I tell him what? Dunkin you got a picture donuts, of her? But don't no. Don't say nothing. Dunkin' Donuts. There's always people that you don't can tell go. Wait. What? Talking to the microphone. Oh, hi. How are you? Hi. That's Eric. Do you still I got your him. bling? Hey, hey, Lady Di, you still got your bling? No. What just happened a, to your bling? Bit, just a little bit. Didn't you have that? Yeah. Her bling was as thin as like the oh, yeah. the wrapper that yodels I don't wear that come in. Anymore. It's like really that that you know, you foil. Go you could actually shape it into an you're, eagle, you're, or you could shape it into a Cadillac symbol, symbol, whatever you wanted. Yeah. Whatever you wanted. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. hey, ladies, I made it a cool up and everything, so I could I can't wear it. Ladies, stupid us. We thought we were gonna have hot strippers uh, celebrating a year at year, right? Instead, we got you, so you might as well flash us. No, stop it. Just stop. No. What you got a flash? Well, Lady Di, you working at enough of that. you work at Dunkin' Donuts now? You flash? Yeah. yeah, I do. You work at yeah. the Dunkin' Donuts. Mm -hmm. You have two jobs though. Two jobs. Two at Dunkin' Donuts or one at Dunkin' Donuts and just, one somewhere just else. One at, one over there, and then I have another job at a cosmetic place. A cosmetic place. Yep. No, I think Lady Di's titties are much sexier. Cashiers, both of them, both of them cashiers. Really? You like Lady Di's titties better than Mary's? I got under 155. 155. You like Lady Di better? I finally got under 155. Oh, much better, much perkier. All right, she's uh, she's uh, she got under 155. How much were you, honey? Last time I was here, I think I was. 155 would be great if you were 6'4". Would... The problem is you're 4'10". <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm 5'2", honey. I'm not 4'10". I'm 5'2". Five five she's two. cursing you out like a, a 50 you, mother. You know. going, let me tell you losing. something, toots. <laughs> I'm <laughs> honey. still losing. Hey, honey. You know, I'm you got a lot of yet. moxie talking to me like that. <laughs> in all fairness, Marion looks... Uh... <laughs> you come in here like a bat out of hell. Well, hey, you it's you very talk very to your mother in that mouth, you... you, you Jack and I, foodie foo, <laughs> you dumb I bunny. I passed by some going. construction workers. They said hubba hubba <laughs> and 23 skidoo. <laughs> This is even going down. I what? Going down. Your bun? Yeah. Yeah. Stand up. <laughs> Let me get a look at you. Let me get a look. You're proud of your new uh, body. Yeah. Spin around. Give give the guys a little shelf. Let me see the ass. You know what? Now is it possible? She's got a little shelf going there. Is nice. It, is it possible to do face-ups? <laughs> what? 
<laughs> what? That's even going. Everything's going. <laughs> I don't hate you. You're so, you're so chubby. Wait, take off the inner tube so we can have a real good look. <laughs> <laughs> it's a nice chubby dog. Oh, but do you think she's wearing swimmies or something? <laughs> what is that or shirt? A tube? You got like a kid's inner tube, don't you? Oh, poor oh, baby. Talking about? Oh. <laughs> Let me see the belly. <laughs> lift no. the shirt up. Let me just see the yeah, belly. Let's see the belly. Just lift the shirt to the pant you be, line. You should be proud. Listen I am. to me. It's be not fine. that bad. Be There's fine. a lot of people it's haven't seen me bad. in a year. That's, that's pretty you look at. Like, uh, that's pretty flat. 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 Sweetie. Uh, <laughs> sweetie. <laughs> that's pretty good. Flat. That looks pretty good. And I do. I lift I lift weights. I work out. I'm on my treadmill every other day. Right. And I walk every day. And then Lady Di's got to read her. Yes, she is. Yes. Hey, OB Anthony, we just missed you guys at San Gennaro, me and my husband. Oh, what a shame. We were there the day that you were going down there. Yeah. We were there. But we had left when you guys got in there. We were there, Joey Pizzo. Did you have a good time? I got my free glass of wine. Oh, you did? I was on vacation, so I celebrated all over the city on my vacation. You got a little tipsy, did you? No. What are those? What? What do you have there? Atlantic City chips? Oh, you're a big gambler. chips, trust me. He's a big gambler. Coming your way soon. Mm-hmm. Oh, but you're into poker now too. I know mm. Anthony was. I've of lost. Uh, I've lost lots you're of money. You're still into poker, Anthony? Of course. We got you're Phil Gordon to... outside. Get over it. Do you come still in go here. to AC and play poker? AC, Mohegan, Foxwoods, Vegas, wherever they'll have me. I don't play poker, me. but I play the slots. <laughs> Oh, the by the way, slots. I'm still a big Bon Jovi fan, and I got tickets coming to me to see them at the Garden at the end of November. <laughs> and we care why. No, just letting these know because I know a year ago. Do you, you realize can't... we're talking to a million people right now? I don't and care. And you're talking to. I don't care. Us about stuff that. Well, you just want to know what oh, else is wow. new. So let me hear what's going on with you guys' lives. Baby. You you no, know, we talk about it on a daily basis. Don't you have XM? I do, yeah. but I listen to the replays because usually I'm on at 7 in the morning. Oh. I'm working at 7. So you find out what I can't even call you in the morning anymore. I know, that's God. such a shame. When we go on Sorry. vacation, it's at 5 o'clock in the morning. Jesus, when we go on vacation, they're on vacation too. Yeah, I know. One time I was on vacation, you guys were in D.C. I called you in D.C. Oh too. Oh my God, I just forgot what this was like. <laughs> <laughs> it's a chore. Oh, it's been a long time since you've seen him? It is, yeah, yeah, we haven't had him on the air in forever. Yeah, right. It is a chore. You guys miss us and still love us. They call uh, you call him retarded right. Laverne and Shirley. Yeah. Yeah. Retarded Laverne and Shirley. Yeah. 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 You never knew that. They're I famous. Just, I just met They're famous them, um, for their interviews like. at MTV. Oh, okay. All right. Well, should we get uh, Phil Gordon yes. in here? Of course we should. Who's that? Who's that? Get out. Phil Gordon is legendary. Who's Phil Gordon? Gordon is a legendary hey, poker player. No, they can player. stay in here. Just get a yeah, get yeah, the wireless stay. mic. Make hey, sure it works. Ladies, sit on the liberator and try out some sexual positions, and we'll get back to you in a little while. Yeah. Okay. Go sit down over there. Wait. Right. If you want to ask <laughs> Phil any questions. What's your, what's your favorite sexual position, anyway? None of your business. Oh. Just tell her to go over there. <laughs> How do you do that one? Just tell her to go over there and chill out and fix none of your business. Down. Cover your face. <laughs> <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. What do you look Mr. like? She man? even needs a pick. Um, ah, hairspray. All right. <laughs> Phil. What's up, guys? Phil, I'm sorry you, you doing, have to man? follow those two. I know. These two annoying. Oh, my. Oh, do you recognize him now? <laughs> of course you do. All right, do. hold on. They recognize you, Phil. Uh, Phil Gordon. Wait, Lady Di? Wait, get a mic on them. Oh, God. Was what? Yeah, he's, All right, yeah. Just use that mic. I don't care if it's cracked. Oh, yeah, Phil, James, I am he, apologizing in advance for these two. Him. He's yeah. Kevin Nealon. That's I'm a, I'm a, I'm a world-class who, comedian. Who's that? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Wait, Lady Di, you thought he was on uh, SNL? For, uh, yeah, I thought I saw him on there. Doing what? What about Comedy Central? His comedy act. His comedy act? Did you, did, no, did you ever watch Celebrity Poker Challenge? Have you ever watched that? Celebrity Going around poker? the cha- Celebrity Poker. In between eating I don't think so. and doing whatever else you do. She's too busy going to uh, Bon Jovi. No, Jovi's. because that's on the bon Jovi show. Yeah, she loves the Bon Jovi. He's, I don't love the Bon Jovi. I love Bon Jovi. Don't make fun of Bon Jovi. I wouldn't. Oh, oh, Watch oh. yourself. To a girl that adopted don't his make, hair. After he... Don't make hey, you fun know, of Bon Jovi. You know they look like? It looks like they that's actually. Smile, man. They actually look like me and Voss in drag. <laughs> <laughs> that's who they look don't like. Don't pick on Rich Voss. I like Rich Voss. I like Rich Voss. Hey, how's he doing? For Halloween, she's just going to spray paint her hair green and put a Jets emblem on the Side. Right. And I don't like the Jets. Face mask. Show the face mask. Now the Jets are gone. She'll be the next quarterback. So. <laughs> I, Phil, I'm sorry. You guys like the Jets. I want to talk to Phil Gordon. Well, go ahead. It's not about who he is. Not I don't know about, who he is. He's a world class <laughs> poker player. I don't watch poker. I don't Poker's play poker. Poker's huge. That's he because plays. you have no idea what is going on in the world today. When I go to Atlantic City, I play the tables. <laughs> what do you play? The wheel. 
The wheel. <laughs> the wheel. Who plays the wheel? wheel at, you're... You can play the wheel at a county fair. I played play a slot too. Boys, they told us everything we need to know. Playing the wheel. Playing the wheel. Double diamond What's the strategy at the wheel? Play that double diamond deluxe machine. I want to throw up. I want to throw up right now. We got a wealth of information in poker over here, and you're talking about the fucking wheel. Well, what about the double diamond slot machine? The slot machine. He plays well. That's why you could have. Anthony, you know? Oh my you God! Right. It's talking. about he, poker. Can we talk to Phil Gordon for a little while? He, 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 he plays. He plays some poker. He plays poker, unlike your husband. My husband don't play <laughs> poker either. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Yeah, I have a, what about your wife? Something tells me he does. <laughs> he caught a bad beat. How long you been married? <laughs> <laughs> the worst beat of his life. <laughs> that. Actually, what, he had no money, so he had to marry her. <laughs> Look, oh, you married my wife. Yeah, when are you going to get married, Opie? I'm not getting oh. married. I know, we want to come to a wedding. All right, already. <laughs> I'm invited to my oh wedding. My God. Nothing like drawing dead. All right. All right. Keep the mics away from that. Ladies, we'll let you hang out and watch. Sit down on the liberty. Our great interview with Sit down on the Liberator Sit for a little while. Air. Phil, we'll you worried me with that for a minute. But with, uh, yeah. All right. It's, yeah, they don't shut up. The couch. They they're really keep babbling over Please there. don't let them. Now, the, the good thing is, uh, as a poker player, you're not distracted by a lot of outside things. You're <laughs> focused because they will just continue to babble now uh, on that uh, couch for hours and hours. But on they it. don't have mics. But they don't have mics, which All is right. good. Uh, Phil, good to see you. And I say again, because I uh, sat next to you. At the uh, celebrity uh, poker, uh, one of the tournaments out in Los Angeles, and I was horrified at my performance. You uh, ate me up. Well, you're out in like what, 14 minutes? It was about. No, no I was in there for well, about actually. an hour, oh, I guess, okay. maybe yeah. an hour and right, 15. Actually. But but time man, flies I, when you're having fun. It, it absolutely was a lot of fun. But I'm sitting there. And uh, I'm playing. I'm thinking I'm holding my own, but I'm just, you know, hanging out. And I see people leaving the table, and I think, cool, the less of these people, the better. You know, Min the Master was, like, sitting across from me, yeah, and yeah. I see that, and I'm like, Jesus We had Christ. Jerry Buss at the table, too, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was just one of those tables where I'm like, why can't I be at the table at, like, Screech or something? <laughs> uh, why do I have to sit? I'm at this table. And uh, a couple of people are getting eliminated. I'm feeling a little good. And then I look, and I see Phil walking over with a handful of chips. Like, motherfucker, man. Why? Why now? And then you just proceeded to eat me up, well, and, and I knew it was going to happen. Uh, but but I'd uh, like to say I'm sorry, but that really wouldn't uh, capture my emotion. <laughs> no, no. You now I'm watching you on the celebrity uh, uh, poker challenges. Uh, uh, you're a lot of fun. You got a great sense of humor, and then to watch you in a tournament, you're a completely different person. Well, you know, it's a different atmosphere. Uh, yeah, most obviously. of the time on Celebrity Poker Showdown, we're we're drunk. Showdown, um, excuse yeah. me. And yeah, uh, are you? Do you there's a little well, drinking going on in the lounge? Quite a bit, yeah. Yeah, it is well, Vegas, and uh, you know, most of the celebrities that come on the show are in Vegas to have a good time. It's a weekend; they're not mm -hmm. being paid to be there. Um, Did you like just... Colin Quinn when he came in? What did you think? Oh my kind of god, boring, oh, right? my Colin's goodness. a good friend of ours. Yeah, I watched. I was horrified by the way this guy was playing, and he. He's he called, the guy that pisses you off. He called every single bet on every single hand all the way to the river. Yeah. I don't... I no matter was, what he had. I wanted to pull my hair out, but he won. I and he was gonna pulling do? just hands out of his ass. It was unbelievable. I've never seen anything like it. Yeah, and, never and, seen and like he it. wound up winning that one. And uh, yeah. he goes on to one of the championship deals and starts pulling the same shit. Oh, my goodness. And you wanted the best in the world? Well, I mean, uh, he's up depends there. on who you ask. He's very, I thought it was very a little Chinese good. dude that was like the greatest. Well, it was like <laughs> 10 years ago. It's always changing. When's the last time you watched ESPN? Yeah. I just thought, like, oh, it's so much poker now, right, right, that it's almost, you know, it's almost like reality television, but I I keep up with who's serious, right? and I know that there's a little um, little Chinese dude with, gla like, dark glasses who's supposed to be the no, best in the world. That was like 10 years he, ago. He died of cocaine overdose. Is he dead? Oh, yeah. He died? What was his Stu name? Stu Unger? No, Stu's dead. Chinese. No, you're talking about um, um, uh, Scotty Wynn. Scotty Wynn, yeah. 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 He's like he's, the, the Scotty's got the, he's the been, mullet. He's, Scotty's got the mullet. He does cooking. have a mullet, yeah. And the, uh, the sunglasses. That's right, baby. So, Phil, you can play <laughs> you, you with anybody. You call me, you go home. Anybody yeah. in the world you can, you can match up against? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, he yeah. has. Met against, you know. What were you? Uh, was it 2001, fourth place? I've won uh, two World Poker Tour tournaments, and I have uh, came in fourth in the World Championship in 2001. 2001. And I made about eight final tables and no limit. And what's your take? Poker. What's your take so far total? 
About 1.8 million. Wow. 1.8 million playing. Do <coughs> oh, you ever, you ever play that Russian guy with the Oreo cookies? <laughs> <laughs> I heard he's really good. Now, this is a real layman's question right here. Yeah. What is, no insult, yeah, okay. what is the skill? Like, what keeps me from getting a lucky hand all the way to a million? Like, well, what's the thing that makes yeah. you definitely a better poker player than, than right. I am? Well, poker is not gambling. Poker, I, I equate to strategic investing. <laughs> All right, think about, it, think about investing. it this way. If you can pick stocks and you can pick six out of ten stocks right, you're going to be a fantastic stock picker and you're going to be off this show and making like a million, couple million dollars a year. Phil, i got to apologize again. I don't know what's going on outside there. Little, There's uh, a, guy a guy in a blue bunny suit. A blue bunny suit and a horror show. It looks like JonBenet Ramsey, if she lived, went in a time capsule on Planet of the Apes and it broke. Remember that the one? blue bunnies getting Remember mad at you, Anthony. The rock hit the what? time capsule on that girl oh, on the Planet of the goodness. Apes thing and it broke. Put JonBenet Ramsey in that. That is oh, her. Man. I don't know what's going on. I'm going to try to fuck. See, they're trying to distract me like in poker. I'm asking but i got to focus on Phil. Just stop laughing at I'm these focusing dogs. focusing on this interview, Phil. And you're wondering if I'm Keep laughing focused. at you. You know, questions. poker is... The dichotomy of poker and, and, and the, the bunny rabbit. <laughs> no, he just the bunny walking. rabbit walks by. Unbelievable. A, but it is. There is so much skill involved. And a lot it, of people it, that it, just it look at it. It wasn't that. walking by. It was kind of hopping by. He was hopping. <laughs> <laughs> he's committed. A lot of people don't understand the skill that's involved <laughs> in dressing like a blue bunny. Oh, he's got stripper heels it's on. A, it's oh. a blue bunny and eight-inch stripper heels. Oh, yeah, this is great. <laughs> Who would you bet on this? I can't <laughs> take this. I would have lost a lot of money if someone would have said I would have been doing an interview with a blue bunny <laughs> right. and eight-inch stripper heels uh, jumping by behind me. Are you one of those guys? You come off like one of those guys, though, when I've seen uh, some of the behind-the-scenes that really bet on anything. Oh, Are you yeah. one of those cr the crew that does that out yeah. there? Well, you know, proposition betting is an art. Um, my my newest is rock, scissors, paper. I've been playing a lot. Right. Of, now, I saw th this is covered. I've been uh, playing a lot of high-stakes rock, scissors, paper. You did I, it for charity. I want to personally thank this uh, guy named Tom in Chicago. I was in Chicago a week ago. He, he went off for 2200 against me <laughs> at, a, at a bar in like seven minutes. That was really fantastic. Yeah, uh, you guys, All over the country, people are like, oh, Phil Gordon, I want to gamble with you. I'm like, let's play some rock, scissors, paper. I won $480 in uh, Charlotte two days ago. Is there a skill to it? Oh, yeah, for sure. There's absolutely a skill yeah. to rock, scissors, paper. If now, I know, which, there be a if skill I know which way you're going, let's I just go the opposite. And you're Why don't you cover let's, me? Yes, go. Do let's something. Let's go right. quick hundred. Right. we got to go for a honey. You want to go for a hundred? And you're a gambler? Come I on. I just got 20s, but I got 100s worth. All right. I'll do it. Rock, paper, um, scissors. All right. What are the rules? Phil Gordon versus Anthony. One, two, shoot. That's how you one, do it. Two, well, shoot, two, wait, two, on shoot. one? Are we going just one or best out of three? We got to go best three out of five, I think, is the most <laughs> skillful. So can, paper, can radio handle it? Paper beats, paper beats uh, yeah. rock, wait, get okay. them, get rock paper, scissors. scissors. We're going one, two, shoot, right? Hold on. Yeah, one, two, shoot. Hold on, hold on. We got to get you guys together. Okay. Switch mics with Bob. All right. And no, Phil, you, oh, you're okay. Just move over. I'll stay here. These dudes are like, this is serious. <laughs> serious. Yeah. All right. So this, this is what poker is all about. You got to get inside the mind of your opponent. You got to read their tells. Come on, Anthony. Their facial expressions, and then you have to give them that little something to push them over the edge, like this. I'm going rock. All right. I saw him. <laughs> I saw him do this. So you I think he's going rock now? Now? Am I going rock I don't, am I I don't going know. Rock? He's great at bluffing. Oh, my God. He just listen, don't know? listen, Anthony. Don't listen. It's right. All right, listen. It's best out of five. Best, best out, of five. out of five. Here we go. One, two, shoot. One, two, shoot. Uh, paper, paper. Paper, paper. All right, so, it's so no one wins. No, no one, one wins. wins. No one wins. No one wins. All right. Okay. And now what do we do? Can now we go again. Yeah. Five? Yeah. Still five. Yeah. Okay. All right. Hold on. i got to write all this down. Man, i got faith in you. paper against paper. i got it. Okay. Here we go. Tie. Ready? Tie. One, two, shoot. That's one zero me rock rock beat scissors. Oh that damn! Man, that that may be the easiest that read I've had in a week. I think you saw. I think you <laughs> saw me making the scissor thing before I even. That's one for Phil Gordon. Yeah, a little bit of a tell. Scissors. All right. One, Did I have a tell? One to Phil Gordon. This okay. is for a hundred dollars. Come okay. on, Anthony. Come on. One two shoot. The paper paper again. Paper paper okay. again. All right. Anthony, one two shoot. Oh! oh, oh, oh Anthony Scissor, yeah. Gordon Paper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Biatch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, feeling good. Yeah, Anthony. Feeling good. Look at He really is nervous. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. <laughs> We're tied. We're tied. That was 2-1. Oh, oh Gordon Paper. paper Anthony Rock. 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 I was Rock. All right, so it's Phil Gordon 2, Anthony 1. last one. Thank you for the money. Oh, this is it. Oh, no. Scissor, oh, scissor. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Breathe, breathe. All right, we're ready. We're ready. Wait a minute. Nishi Russell died. Oh, damn <laughs> 80 okay. years young. Ready? Here we go, last one. 2-2. Two, two. Oh! All right, listen. Anthony, wait, this take a deep breath. Hold on, I got to explain for radio. This is it. 
Hold this on, is I it. gotta explain for a radio. This is Anthony it. did rock, Phil Gordon scissor, it's now two two. Here we go. For the hundred dollars that's on the console. Anthony, take a deep breath. Just take Come a on, deep Anthony. breath. Come on, Anthony. Okay. Anthony. Here Good we luck, go. Anthony. Ready? Thank you, Phil. It's over, baby Phil. Thank you very much. Phil Gordon is out! It went paper, I went rock, Phil Gordon. Oh slow! Phil Gordon, Phil Anthony Rock! He, if you watch watch the replay, his <laughs> fingers are, are set so he can do anything with them. He's very good. He went just God, like this damn. so he could turn it into a scissor, <laughs> a rock. Simple. I was going to go paper, and I don't know why I went rock. This is what it's all about, folks. Being oh, a really professional is. gambler has reached an all-time peak in my life. Yep. Forget the $1.8 million on tour, this $100. It's, it's yours. He won it fair and square, fair and, and square. I'm honored to have played... Rock, paper, scissor with Phil, Phil Gordon. Gordon. God damn, man. You just run around getting chump change from any idiot that just wants hey, to do anything. You know, 100 a, a day is $36,000 a year. I don't. That's not such a bad thing. All right, let's thumb wrestle you mother... <laughs> <laughs> Phil's got a, uh, he's, he's got a book out. Yeah, it's my brand new book. It's called uh, Phil Gordon's Little Green Book. It's 300 pages of No Limit Hold'em strategy advice tips. It's exactly the way I play. I'm not the best player in the world by far, mm -hmm. but... Uh, I am a winning player. I've won a lot on tour, World Series of Poker, World Poker Tour. In this book, I wrote. I took four months off tour. I wrote exactly how I play. Everything that I know about the game is in the book, and uh, it's in bookstores everywhere as of today, official release date today. Does does this hurt you guys at the tables? Uh, I'm not worried about that. I want people to play better so that everyone's game has to go to the next level. Mm -hmm. Right now, there are a lot of people playing the game. About 80 million Americans identify themselves as poker players. I want them all to play better. I think it would be fantastic for the game if uh, if everyone took it to that next level yeah. and and, uh, and forced us all to, to rethink our strategies. A lot of the guys, a lot of the older guys that have been playing for a while, um, yeah, a lot of these new guys now are coming in from the Internet especially, yeah. and uh, they're getting beat. They're getting beat out. Yeah, well... The fields are enormous right now. This year at the World Series of Poker, we have 5,619 players pay $10,000 each to play. <laughs> Created a prize purse of $56 million. Holy shit. You know, any professional, there are only about maybe 50 professionals that you mm -hmm. know by first and last name. Yeah. 50 out of 5,600 is, I mean, you're, the odds of you making it all the way to the end are pretty slim, no matter how great you are. What Absolutely. was the prize? What was the, the grand first prize? First place is $7.5 million. Wow. And next year it'll be $10 million. Million. $10 million next Who won year? That? You won that? No, and I didn't win that one. Any any uh, poker groupies, like before television, like just any <laughs> yeah. The blue bunny followed me in from the road. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you always want to know if it's some. Are you, I mean, are you getting? Uh, you know, are you gambling in the bedroom? Are you strapping uh, up? Are you my, putting my condoms on, buddy? Sure. Are you going one, two, three? <laughs> oh, it burns, bitch! Fed. I lost. Well, you know, the poker pay, <laughs> poker pay, poker player's favorite expression is "I'm all in." <laughs> <laughs> Chicks love Phil, though. Yeah. Of course, he's about, all he's the about girls eight feet tall. Look like that. I'm five foot twenty-one, and uh, <laughs> he's a big dude, man. Yeah, they wow. uh, they love Phil. Who who would you consider the best out there right now? Best out there, without any doubt, in my mind, Phil Ivey. Phil Ivey? Yeah, he's yeah. Uh, he's. Which he's one just is he, killing it. Tiger Woods. The Tiger yep, Woods of golf. The Tiger what Woods of uh, poker. He's killing it. What uh, makes him good? He has the most focus. He has the most uh, stamina. He has an incredible sense for cards. He plays in the biggest games in the world. He, he's winning just. Gobs yeah. and gobs of money, and he's basically, uh, you know, his his reputation precedes him, which which helps him at the table because no one wants to get involved in a pot with him. When he yeah. within the pot, everyone folds, I and saw they just fold, 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 fold. They just never play back at him, and eventually he just steals them, steals them blind. It's a fantastic thing. I to watch. saw a match he was playing. He got head to head uh, just recently. It was on. Oh God, I can't remember who he was playing, but uh, it ended with him losing, and yeah. it looked like he had given up. On, on the game. Uh, uh, I and, didn't and that's see something that, match, that really yeah. didn't look like him. Yeah. It looked like he was very careless and just kind of gave up. A well, TV can make you look gr like a hero or like a goat. And, really? Uh, and it all depends on which hands they choose to telecast. Mm -hmm. What you don't realize is that when you watch a two hour poker show, you see 25 hands. But there may have been 200 played in that same amount of time. Really? And, uh, you know, the, the producers of the show. You know, may have wanted the underdog to look like a champion in this particular case, and and Phil to, you know, come back down to earth. Maybe he pissed mm -hmm. the producer off. You don't, you know, <laughs> you, you don't, you never really know. Yeah. But I can tell you without a doubt that uh, Phil's the best player in the world in my mind. On your show, did you, you see some of the actors? I saw one with no one liked him. He was actually an ass. Yeah, there have been a few of those. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not, not, not very right? many, but not very many. Most of the people that come on the show are really great. 
A, spo- a, 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 a celebrity wise, who who's who's really good out there? Uh, Toby Maguire, fantastic player. Really, play with the world's best, and uh, also uh, Ben Affleck. Yeah. Ben Affleck. Hmm. Hank Azaria is uh, noteworthy. James Woods. James Woods has a reputation. Ja- well, yeah, James Woods <laughs> has a reputation, yeah. <laughs> Was he a prick? Uh, <laughs> no, he's a great guy. I really like him a lot. In yeah. fact, he wrote a quote for the back of my book. Um, oh, he did. We talk about poker all the time. He's yeah. supposed to have a huge schlong, too. By I've the heard way. That, that reputation. Yeah. is. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you should bet on that. And he bets <laughs> right. on that one. And a so. huge IQ. In fact, uh, any time you talk to James, uh, well, you'll know you'll know both. Real? Oh, oh he'll puts, let you know. He puts his penis in your mouth and then tells you. Oh, quote I don't stuff? know. I don't know. I mean, he he just uh, he's hey, a really fantastic, easygoing see, guy. But he uh, can we see what the blue bunny's all about? I'm a little confused here. I have no I think, idea. I think the blue so bunny guys, came to play rock scissors paper. You guys have your back to Nothing. him, and he's very he's distracting, distracting to, you. To, to Patrice, see, we need that in poker. To just, Patrice and I. Would it be illegal to have that guy behind somebody, just kind of jumping around to distract people? Should we have him uh, at least say hi? Uh, he, all right. See what he's all about. Oh boy, Phil, you yeah. hanging? Yeah, I'm. Ha- right, I, hang. Are you kidding? I'm not leaving until I see what this is <laughs> all about. That is. All right, let's get some more wireless. We have so many guests today. We need more oh, wireless Jesus mics. Jesus Christ! Sandy Kane, I guess, brought the the blue bunny guy in. Yeah. Bring her on. Yeah. Oh, Sandy Kane is an old vaudevillian. I don't know what the hell she's. She uh, uh, she, she still was a stripper back in. The she does old peep days. shows to this day. Uh, Keep him nice there. Too. Use it now? Hi. Yeah. Hey, what, what's up, good man? morning. What do you do? What? Hi. What are you all about, sir? My name is Scotty the Blue Bunny. I'm a downtown performance artist. What's up? Good morning. Good morning. I think he likes you, Phil. He's really I'm eyeballing so aggressive. you. This bunny's hog. Is that his bowl or his hog? I don't know. Where Can I get another microphone? Uh, yeah. Feel, feel free to move he as far away as you, brought his own you want. Mic. Hey, bet on that there, Phil. You <laughs> <laughs> bet it's about a 10. <laughs> yeah, we we set, I think you should run the scene money. here. Jesus you know? Christ, Merlin yeah, Olsen yeah, came in dressed as a bunny. This is a velour, a velour full... Stretch velour. Full, stretch right. velour, full blue... Oh, Body he really suit, is aggressive, with isn't he? Yeah. He's a, Twelve he's a, inch. Um, come on, 12, go crazy, go crazy. Well, I'm go just, crazy with it. We got pictures of the homosexual. Go crazy, inches. go crazy with it. Are you gay? Bunny ears. I'm ecstatic, <laughs> baby. I'm ecstatic. Twelve inch Overjoyed. Ears, there are uh, light blue sequins <laughs> adorning the entire outfit, and, and uh, <laughs> clear plastic <laughs> eight inch spiked heels. That's not his tail. And anyway. a bunny that's, tail. That's not his tail. That's actually the rest of his mule. Sequin tucked in the back. It's tough to wrap. I, I hope you're a, balls and dick I hope you're a bottom, dude. I, oh. Why, are you a top? I don't know what I are am. Are you getting on top? You're packing a huge log <laughs> there, bunny ears. <laughs> wow. I can't take my eyes off his sparkly log. <laughs> if you can do it, I'll take it. Oh, my Good God. God. What a yeah. great beard. You're a, <laughs> you're a performance artist. That's true. So what do you do? Uh, I host a lot of burlesque in the city, downtown. Yeah. Downtown. Yeah. No one would have ever guessed. You ever do kid no. shows? <laughs> <laughs> of kid course you no. <laughs> no, hell no. Hell no. How do you know Sandy Kane? From performing together. Do you do our TV show? You ever no, been on her show? I haven't show? done it yet. Do you sing? Sure. Oh. What do you want to sing? Happy birthday to you. <laughs> oh, here she comes. Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> yes. oh, hey, Sandy, good morning. Oh, my shit. God. Holy We've shit. gone from one of the highlights of my life, winning the $100, to one of the things that I'm probably going to have nightmares about for the next 10 years. <laughs> hey, Sandy, you look beautiful. Yeah. yeah. You look like a melted that. Barbie doll. <laughs> <laughs> So I dropped it. You want a doll baby dance? in the oven? Oh no! You want a lap dance? <laughs> no. I tell oh. you what, I'll pay. I'll give you twenty bucks to give him a lap dance. <laughs> all right, all right. Wait, we got, what about me? He liked me first. All right. Well, singing, but you know, Phil, she she really doesn't have a lap anymore. <laughs> Patrice took the money. How are you? Like you might Phil not have a dick out. anymore. Patrice took the money like Phil was I talking to him. Money. Yeah, I know. How are you? I just won a hundred bucks. I might as well invest twenty in good comedy. <laughs> Oh, oh, I'm right, oh, I can't look. God, good. thanks. Oh, I can't look. Look, at it. Right, I can't look. Don't look, Patrice. That's why Wait, you Patrice, never put money in your have mouth. Have you seen Twato yet? No, because Bob, show him you Twato. Gotta see. You got to look Someone at it. To put his whole well, head hold on, hold on, Sandy. Head. Show him that thing show on the, the side of your you vagina. Show Phil Gordon. He's a very famous poker what player. What is that? Phil? Uh, that's I don't know. What not is that? It's something. Wait a minute, Phil. Use your poker face. I want to see. See, I want to see poker face. Here, take that. 
And I want to go anywhere near that. Give her the I haven't made 20 bucks in a long time. Give her the money. Give her the money. Okay. 20 bucks. Wait, did Thank you show Twato? You're very welcome. Yeah, she what? turned it, Sandy. What are you Sandy, doing? Sandy, you got to show Twato for show that, Show Twato. Let's see Twato. Twato. My whole pussy's out, though. I'm not I wearing under... I have to look through it like a down, camera. Pull it down. Pull it down. Pull it down, Pull it down further. Twato, man. Oh, man. Very modest. Robert Kelly's doing it. Oh, 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 no. Oh, Oh, come on. Wait, we like getting the puke sound on that. Oh, All right, he's leaving red. the studio. You know, oh, my kidding. God. He's really not kidding. Oh, red. We have a and poker great in I'm here, one of my <laughs> poker heroes. and it I smells I, I'm from vomit in here. It's, it's, it's hairy as a... Okay. Did, did you show but the Phil thing, Gordon? Sandy, you have to listen for a second. Yeah. Pull it down so we can see Twato. Okay, guys, show him show Twato. Twato show Twato. I really didn't, you I have didn't to. Bikini wax just I'm not sure my book publisher is going to appreciate this. Okay. But <laughs> probably not. <laughs> but it, it looks like a poker chip sticking out. Yeah, this show that thing. Yeah, just, what is that? It looks you. like an ear. I just want to show you. Go ahead. You paid the 20 bucks. What about you? That's great. <laughs> what about you paid the 20 bucks? <laughs> can we uh, Can we go to the next segment? Okay. Uh, <laughs> well, commercial breaks. We, oh, oh, we have commercial breaks on this show. Ah, satellite. There's never a commercial. Wait, wait. Shh. Robert Kelly puking. Oh, he's in the bathroom? He gets disgusted. He doesn't want... thing is disgusting. I can't look at that. <laughs> Phil's out. Phil's folded. Phil's folded. Phil has folded his hand. I can't. I can't. He's folded way too out. early, I think. Please heal me out. I, yeah. There's, there's a big pot here. Phil's Who's still... All right, Phil's not even looking at... Phil out. Yeah, he's smart. Yeah. Man. That's shot. All right, Sandy, we've right, had Sandy. enough of you. We'll we'll get back to you and... Uh, what about Scott? Oh, my goodness. We don't goodness. want to lose the horn yet, so... Wow. Wow. Uh, the, the, I might be joining your, your buddy in the uh, bathroom. Uh, yeah, right. in the bathroom of uh, puking. The idea is shocking. Well, it's it's oh, not it's For the not new right listener, she's all. got a I genital can't wart. Can't she says it's something what it else. Is. And it looks like a poker. My Wait. My fucking memories. <laughs> <laughs> the thing I've ever seen in my yeah. life. <laughs> That's audio Robert in the bathroom. <laughs> is he really tossing up? Oh, yeah. That, yeah. yeah, he did. <laughs> well, with him uh, tossing in the background and washing off, uh, Phil, yeah. you you uh, did you work for Lockheed or something? I did very briefly, but I I don't remember anything about that now. You don't? No. The, it's the blue all about is, poker now. The blue bunny, the blue bunny is bunny completely has erased that from my memory. And I'm amazed at your uh, ability with stats and percentages. You actually announced your own percentages at a table <laughs> once when I was watching, and it was right on the money. Yeah, and it's not as hard as you might think. It uh, isn't? And everything, uh, all the math that you need is third grade, third grade education, and uh, it's explained as clearly as I possibly can in the new book. In your new book, uh, and that's Which I'm pimping again. It's Bill Gordon's Little Green, green Book. That's uh, it. That one is mine. Yeah, Can keep absolutely. That? Can you sign it for me? Yeah, oh. I'll sign it. Uh, rock, rock, <laughs> paper, paper. <laughs> yeah, I know. Hey, if I had to lose to anybody, uh, it's an cool. honor. All right. Uh, you losing know, Bobo, to you. that might be a good diet for you. It, the wart, <laughs> the wart diet. <laughs> <laughs> lose some weight. Just keep showing them that. Robert one. Kelly back in studio. You all right, Robert? I just, yeah. I can't look. I can't look at it. Obviously. I can't. It. it, it, it Fucking haunts my memory. It's like half a ear sticking out of the side of her back. <laughs> what it, is. it always it reminded me of that ear they grew on the back of the mouse as some it. kind of scientific right. project right. they were working on. Uh, absolutely, pick up uh, Phil's book you don't have if to. Uh, if you want to know anything about poker, you man. Definitely don't have to. Like, I am thrilled. Convince me. Dude. What do you think of online poker? Love it. I play every you day. You play every day? Every single day. You do. So do I. I'm on where there you, where you every single day. Don't Park. say anywhere other than full tilt poker. I'm going right. to get angry Full tilt you. poker. That's where you're it playing. Was, I play it p- full tilt poker. <laughs> 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 I will. I'll, I'll, I'll sign up and check it out. Come on and check it out. It's the best software yeah. on the planet. And, and uh, uh, what, what do you... I, I know a lot of people play in the free rooms, which is an abomination to me. There's no reason to be playing in the No free reason. Rooms. You're absolutely right. Yeah. I notice the more money you invest into uh, playing online, the more professional uh, the, the players seem to be. Because you, you play in some of the lower uh, stakes rooms. It is just people calling everything. Right. They're rivering the shit out of you with nothing. And what you have to realize is that there's a strategy to beat every single table. If, when you're playing in a game and, and everyone seems to be calling everything, well, just tighten up. And, and when you do play a hand, over bet, play big, big, big pots because you've got the best hand. Mm-hmm. Uh, if you're playing in a very tight game, then you want to play very loose and you want to play every hand and you want to force them to continue to make the mistake that they're making, which is folding too much. That's cool because uh, you kind of learn that yourself just playing. Yeah. Playing so, a lot. you know, whatever game you're playing, whether it be uh, one cent, two cent, five cent, ten cent, or fifty and a hundred yeah. online, there is definitely a strategy for beating every single table. How do you do online? Good? 
I, yeah, all, all the money that I went online, though, I donate to uh, cancer research, oh, to the Cancer cool. Research Prevention Foundation. So, What a guy. Look, he's, he's nice just guy, endeared though. himself more with the chicks that love him anyway. He's a nice guy. Bastard. <laughs> I love it. Uh, yeah, and the uh, I have one more question about um, online play, and now it just completely slipped my mind. I stink. Something about, oh, do people know that it's you <coughs> they're playing again? Oh, of course, yeah. Uh, at really? Full, at Full Tilt, all the professionals that are online play under their own name. You can learn, chat, and uh, play with the pros. Uh, online with me are Chris Ferguson, Howard Letter, uh, Phil Ivey, John Jawanda, Eric Seidel from Rounders, yeah. Pony Gowan, Jennifer Harmon, Andy Block, and uh, and, and Eric Lundgren. Yeah. <laughs> Finally, why the fuck would I want to go and play with these? <laughs> well, we play very, very low limits. I yeah. mean, when I'm playing online, I'm playing 50 cent and a dollar. Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm not playing the, you know... Well, like I said, all the money I win, I donate to charity. So when you come online and you lose money, at least it's going to a good cause. Yeah. Uh, Very cool, man. Phil. Fi- how about a final question a from the retard Laverne Shirley? Uh, you got a question for, question uh, Phil, for Gordon? Phil Gordon? They're really good at celebrity interviews. Go ahead. Wait, wait. The mic's not on there, The mic isn't working. Now that she knows who you are, she was trying to utter... No, yeah. no, I'm still sorry, not. I didn't know okay. who this guy was because I don't okay. know nothing about poker. Right. Yeah. But question? do you go to Atlantic City and play at those casinos in AC? Uh, occasionally, yeah, uh, as, uh, as little as possible. I'm not a big Atlantic City fan. Oh, you're basically no. based in California, huh? No, I live about two blocks from the Bellagio, and once you've been to oh, uh, once you once you've been in Las Vegas, pretty much every oh, other Vegas. poker room in the world sucks. Yeah. Do people go like, oh, when you go over and sit down at a No, not really. Game. I think people are excited to play. Yeah. You know? um, it is exciting to play with the pros you see on, yeah. on TV. It really yeah. is. It makes people almost <clears throat> happy to lose their money. Anthony, <laughs> ask them how much he's worth because you build a relationship with him. There you <laughs> go. <laughs> ask him how much money he got. I want to know what's I'm going sure. on with you. I have $180. Come on, man. Stop with this. <laughs> see, this is the thing I don't like about white guys. They keep their money. To they, I, don't, I want money talk. Give me some money. I got, well, you guys I got 180 like, bucks in a story uh, I will never forget. Damn it. <laughs> what kind of house you live in? What kind of what kind of apartment? I have a I have a condo in Vegas. Yeah, I'm Bellagio. traveling like three weeks of, three weeks out of the month. After right you now, saw so. Twato, are you ever going to order a mushroom? He didn't pizza pull it out. <laughs> he, didn't, he didn't look. He didn't really look. He, he bailed on that. You so, got two, that really, two or three that girlfriends was, or what? That was, com- was completely ridiculous. Yeah, really. so guys, let's, have to say that. Yeah, let's thank Phil Gordon for stopping by. Phil, thank you it's so Phil much. Phil Gordon's man. little green book. You can get that now, right? Pick it up. Pick it up. All Thanks right, for Phil. the easy money, by the way. Oh, oh, oh. Each day, millions of Americans. What? He's talking all kinds of smack. What's wrong, Eric? Oh my God, Eric! What did you, you did just do? You did not just come in and say what did you just do to interrupt our break? Well, why were you running in? Now you got to take a little beating. No, I, you guys were still talking. I didn't know if you heard the music that you were back on. There's just a we lot were going doing on. we were doing a break. We were doing our show, and you came in and told us. The show is on. <laughs> I just want to call out Patrice because he's like, he, you know, he, he's not impressed with Phil Gore, and he says, when he comes back, I'll bet him. I'm like, yeah. oh, hey. Well, I'm trying to explain him that <laughs> he'll, he'll, just now. he'll play cards with anyone in this room and beat the crap out of him. And Patrice is just like, it's all luck. It's cards. It's wow. like, you know. And then I'm trying to explain to him how it works where, you know, it's not just about the cards. It's about how you bet and the intimidation factor. And he's like, shut up, rock, paper, lots. <laughs> Pussy all shaking. All right. Oh. I'm thinking Let he should read my mind. Or 21, or I declare war. Some ghetto game. <laughs> ghetto game. <laughs> you should have played a ghetto game with the I guy. Was, I was going, but it's like, you, you know, I was. I didn't have any money. So oh, I was going to say shit. somebody sponsored me. And I'd have, beat him, me. I'd have beat him in that dumb game. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't have been Boy, shook by his You goofy. continue talking tough now that he's I thought he could read my mind. Where's Phil Gordon at? Where is he at? I thought he could read my mind. I was thinking rock, and I was throwing paper. Like, I, I didn't want to do anything to give away what I was going to throw out. And when that last one, when he threw out paper and I threw out rock, I, I swear to you, I was going to throw paper, and I don't know why my hand just fucking curled up oh into my rock. God. You're, you think he's like a white voodoo uh, He doctor. is. <laughs> he's a wizard. <laughs> Anthony really is enamored with Phil. That son of a bitch beat me. Anthony loves his cards, man. You know what? You know what? You know what really got me? The fact that it got down to the last one. Uh, We were right there. You You had a chance. I had a chance. I'm going to tell you what's in his mind now. Yeah. Yeah. I think he let me win, too. That's what he, in his I mind. think he let me get up to let, four. He think he let to, to the last win one. two of them. Let no. me get up to where we needed to go with the last one. You won. He, trust he, me. He was staring you right down. You yeah. were looking away from him. <laughs> you were looking away, and then you'd go one, two, three, shoot, and you'd throw. I it. didn't want to. I, I didn't want to give it away. I didn't want to have a tell, and I guess I did. My hand, and I know damn well as I was throwing it out, I was absolutely letting him know between having my hand by my shoulder 
and having it out in what I want, I was letting him know what I was doing, okay. and he would Let, compensate. Can we do something right now? Yeah. Can I just play him in rock, paper, scissors? Yeah, all right. Right now. Uh-huh. And Where's show your hundred? Him I don't have a hundred dollars. So. <laughs> Anthony, only pl don't play. And show Anthony. him what? Don't play for you. Play. All right, you he, you'll play for a hundred with him, but if if he wins, you have to lick that water chestnut oh. on her fucking belly. Oh. <laughs> That's not worth anything in the world. <laughs> no, exactly. All right, we got to go to the hotline. Big star. Uh, that's right. Big star calling in. Robert. Yeah. It's Robert Romanus. How are you? Good. How's it going? Very good. I, uh, I've i been very excited uh, that you're going to be on our program. I wish you were coming in uh, instead of just a phone call. Well, where are you anyway? We're in New York. Oh. Uh, where are you? Well, I'm in Los Angeles, so... Just waking up. Yes, you bet. Oh, man, it is early, huh? Yeah, go slow, man. Yeah, we'll 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 keep it light. Could you give All us right. could you give us one line so everyone knows who you are? <laughs> one line? Yeah. Well, just to get it going. Act like wherever you are, that's the place to be. <laughs> <laughs> of course, <laughs> that's who he is. To be. <laughs> Isn't this great? <laughs> <laughs> Isn't this great? <laughs> that's who he is. Of course, Damone from Fast Times. You must, dude, every day. Is it every, yeah. every day of your life? Every day. Amazing, yeah. Are you pissed about it? or, or Not at all. No? No, it's actually uh, it's great, you know. <laughs> Isn't it's this great? great? <laughs> <laughs> of course it is. Uh, uh, now, yeah, i got to get through some of the basic questions you probably asked all the time and everything. Did, uh, what, did you expect it to be that big uh, a movie that just has uh, mm. gone on for this many years? And no, never did, never did, never, never in my wildest dreams imagined that uh, you know twenty something years later I'd still be doing interviews about it. <laughs> yeah, you know, it was like a summer movie. Well, we still watch it on a regular basis. That's quite amazing. Do yeah. you, you ever think uh, Penn would, back then would win an Oscar? Yeah, I knew he would. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's an amazing actor, you know. Yeah, uh, uh, what do you what do you think about his um, you know, politics and stuff? You ever get involved with any of that? Or? Well, you know, personally, I don't get involved. Uh, Good I do move. I, I do what I do, you know. But uh, yeah, I, just, I love Sean Penn, man. I think uh, I just love what he does. Yeah, you know, I was. Got, uh, he's got a great commitment, and uh, and I love that. And I, he has it in his work, and he has it in his life, and. Uh, how can you not like that, you know? Even if you don't get along with it. Yeah. You ever bump in anybody from uh, the movie? Once in a while. You know, maybe, uh, I think it was a couple years ago, we did a photo, a cast photo. For, really? Uh, for, uh, what's that magazine? <laughs> uh, Vanity Fair usually yeah, does that's those. It, yeah, that's it, yeah. And that was, you know, we saw everybody. It was really fun, but uh, that's about it. Everybody's so busy, you know? Yeah. Hey, you had full frontal nudity in that movie that they didn't show, huh? You bet. Yeah, yes, they, I did. They, and uh, they had to cut it out uh, to keep an R rating? Well, you know, I think it was a toss-up. Honestly, I, I don't really know, but I think it was between, you know, they looked at the carrot scene, you know. Right, the blowjob the, scene, yeah. Yeah, sure. and they looked at our scene, and they said, something's got to go. Oh, you can't no. Have both. That isn't what they just told you because it didn't end up very good. Did you, were you proud of your full frontal? Because there's some guys that do the full frontal and it's like, uh, uh maybe they shouldn't have done that. Yeah, let me tell you, I have nothing to be shy about. Oh, oh there you go. <laughs> <laughs> I got the most important question though. <clears throat> All right. Why did he screw up and play cashmere in the car? Oh, well, always ask you know that's, right. a, that's a question I get asked quite often. That's probably the number one question because what's the yeah. famous line when it comes to making out? Put on side one of Led Zeppelin four, is it? Side <laughs> yeah. one of Led Zeppelin four. Yeah, yeah, okay. And, uh, then, and then they cut to the scene. He's in the car, and it's cashmere. Right. It's well, I'm going to guess. I'm going to guess what happened is uh, it had to do with the rights. Yeah? Yeah. I like to just think Rat was so stupid. Right. That, well, you uh, could think that if you like, you know. Yeah, he just couldn't quite get a grasp on what you were trying to do. You know. I know, you know, you can't go wrong with cashmere either. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't this great? Yeah. <laughs> what are you working on now? You got a, a movie? Well, uh, yeah, I got a couple things. You know, I 
I teach mostly, you know. I work with kids from kindergarten through sixth grade. What do you teach them? I teach uh, uh, music and drama. Really? Yeah. And, uh, and uh, you know, every once in a while I'll go off and do a movie, you know, if uh, I get a call from a friend or something. And uh, in the theaters now is a movie called Going Shopping. Uh, that's a Henry <clears throat> Jaglum film. Mm -hmm. But there's another movie that I just finished called uh, The Mojave uh, Desert Phone Booth, which I think is going to be really good. Yeah? What's that uh, about? Well, you know, there's an actual phone booth in the Mojave Desert that's like 15 miles from nowhere, and it's famous. There's a whole website about yep. it and everything. And, uh, and for years, people would drive out to this phone booth, and people would call this phone booth. And so strangers would talk to each other. Can I ask you a question, uh, yeah. Robert? It, now, are you a teacher and all this stuff? Of, are you, is it this forced to treat? Like, are you forced to be this caring guy, or, or it just didn't? Or you know, it didn't happen. Like uh, Patrice O'Neill, by the way. Don't may tell have, him who it is, because may have seen him in some motion know, pictures. Like, it's like because when the people go, he plays the bouncer a lot. Like yeah. from <laughs> right, I'm a big black dude, and it's like if I ever say that I'm teaching kids, uh, most likely something you know didn't work out for me. Well, I don't understand that question really. Are you teaching yeah. because you have to? Or teaching because, you know, you want to. Well, That's let a good me question. tell you something. I, I don't know any teacher, really, who teaches for the money. <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, no one, they don't make any money. You know? I mean, if I wanted to make money or something, I'd, ha I'd really have to do something else. And I think in fact, in fact I, I act to supplement my income yeah. as, a, as a teacher. I see his resume is a little more full than yours, Patrice. So I know. So how about... Uh, I enjoyed him in Kill World. I, I don't here. know what you're insinuating. Well, well, let me, let me, I didn't let see me you that. in Valerie Flake. I did. Patrice. I've done this for almost, I think almost uh, like 25, 30 years I've been doing this, you know. Yeah. And after a while, you know, I get tired of going into these offices and, oh, yeah. and trying to prove to these people in five minutes that I'm the guy for the job. Yeah, that's what I'm talking I mean, about. after 20 years of film, I got 20 fucking years of film. That's right, you. Patrice. If you haven't bought me by now, yeah. you're not going to buy me in a five-minute meeting. What role were you in, Maggie Winters, Patrice? I wasn't. I, that's what I'm saying. I just want to make sure. Patrice did play a transvestite in uh, the Meg Ryan movie. Which one? I was the movie? In the cut. In the uh, cut. Yeah. Yeah, All right, now, but don't, don't get down on Patrice, man. He's asking. He's got a, a legitimate question. Yeah, I just wanted to know. That's No, all. I wasn't getting down. He actually played a transvestite role. And, uh, and what part did you play in that Secret Sunday, Patrice? Nothing. I'll tell you how I got into it. And I also man. wasn't in Texas. Uh, yeah? I have three kids. Really? I have three kids. I got 10-year-old twins and a 7-year-old. And I spent a lot of time with my kids, and I spent a lot of time at their school. And it just boring. became such a, a much more uh, enjoyable atmosphere for me, you know, yeah. than the hustle of showbiz. Yeah. So that's really where it comes out. I mean, I'm I, I'm not a young kid anymore. If I was a young kid, I, I wouldn't be doing this. Yeah. How I'd still be hustling, you know. How old were you when you did Fast Times? I was 26 years old. 26, playing yeah. like a high school kid. Exactly. Yeah. Who's laughing back there now? Uh, Patrice just Patrice fell on down. the floor. <laughs> he can't what get the... up. The guy's six four. He's a six four black guy. He's laying and on he's the floor. Falling down. And he's down. He's got to hit his life call button on, around his neck so somebody could get in here and lift him back on the chair. I, I'm sorry, Robert. <laughs> he fell off his chair for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> now you have uh, you have a brother in showbiz. Yeah, I have an older brother. Yeah. And was he? Did he guest in The Sopranos? Yes, he did, yeah. Because a lot of people thought that was you. No, he's a lot taller. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, I he's, didn't know. Uh, and older. I mean, he's like 13 years older than me. Oh, yes, because people are saying, oh, he was in The Sopranos. No, no, no. Oh, no, that wasn't my him. Brother. He'll get it he right. Was in, uh, he's been going since Mean Streets back in the 70s, you know. Right. Uh, hey, why didn't you take a sip of that iced tea before you said great iced tea? <laughs> I think that was planned. Yeah, great ice tea because it wasn't all about the ice tea, was it? It wasn't. A, That's it wasn't right. At all. I got a very, very uh, important question. Do you got a pair of tickets for U two this Friday night at Madison Square Garden? Uh, I 
wish. I need tickets for you, too. You can't get tickets. No. I'm almost working at the 7-Eleven. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Robert. Well, thanks for... Uh, Thanks for calling up, man. Moha- right. Mojave phone booth uh, yep. coming out in 2006. Yeah, exactly, man. All right. All right. Well, good luck to you. Thanks, uh, thank man. Thank you, Robert. Bye. Bye. There he goes. God. Patrice. <laughs> Jesus. I started brewing in him until he couldn't help himself. <laughs> Patrice. <laughs> <laughs> and Obi naming his movies. <laughs> I didn't see you in, and I'm <laughs> Valerie Flake. Let me tell you something. These about were real movies, by the way. Tell you something about I, don't, I don't know what you played in Valerie Flake. <laughs> Listen, uh, let me tell you something. Carlos Wake, buddy. <laughs> Classic. You know, Patrice, he was executive number two in Bachelor Man. <laughs> Who were you? <laughs> Who were you? <laughs> Steven's boss in the last run. Oh, were you in Shut Your Dirty Little Mouth? It's just like you would just love to hear the honesty. I would be so honest if it was like uh-huh. everyone in a movie that I was in is a, is like a name uh-huh. brand. Even Phoebe Cates. Uh-huh. Yeah. Phoebe Cates, Judge right. Reinhold, uh-huh. Sean Penn, yep. Jennifer Jason Lee. Yeah. And then he's the second most unknown other than the dude who played the guy trying to sleep with Jennifer Jason Lee. <laughs> Uh, the uh, the uh, stereo salesman. What was that? What finally got you? It just. <laughs> he didn't see him. He was just staring at me the whole time. Like, are you fucking kidding me? All right, students, settle down. Oh, Opie caught me. He really caught me uh, on guard with. Like a boring man. Oh yes. That My he, that he couldn't hear. He's like, oh, he's, he's, he's stammered. He's stammered. Like, I'm your that? drama I teacher. Didn't, I didn't just hear what I thought I heard. I'm your drama teacher, Mr. Romanus. <laughs> settle down, kids. <laughs> Hey kid, would you get that shirt out of the hamper? <laughs> she basically said, "Do you do you like working with kids, or do you do it because you're a failure?" I just figured I'd help kids out with their math homework on such a hot day. <laughs> All right, here we go. Ben's saying we got a break for some reason. We have a lot of spots. A lot of spots. <laughs> spots. Real spots. Oh, okay. Hey Anthony, wow. it's GameFly.com. Oh. Uh, Isn't this great? Gamefly. I love it. <laughs> I did Gamefly.com on my uh, thing, remember? They're the world's leading online uh, video game rental service. It's so easy. Yep. You send a game back, you, you have a next game on your queue list, it's automatically sent to you. But you have up to two games out at a time, games you can keep as long as you want, without any pesky late fees. Mm-mm. And if you really like the game... You simply click keep it in your game view and uh, queue. Phew. Mm, blueberries. <laughs> yeah, there he goes with his blueberries. And you get the mint condition box and manual delivered to you all at a great member discount. Go to gamefly.com slash XM to get signed food. up. Costs only twenty one ninety five a month. <laughs> I'm, <excellent. laughs> I'm doing a live read here, <laughs> but Opie's fucking losing it over there. <laughs> He's fucking losing his mind. I haven't laughed fucking... this hard in so long. This show has been so fucked up on so many levels. I love it. Uh, I got it. Yes, twenty one ninety five a month, but uh, you can start with a free two week XM trial, no commitments. You cancel any time you want. Start playing all the latest releases, all those games you wanted to play with Gamefly.com. Over 2,500 titles to choose from. They got it for uh, Xbox, PS2, GameCube, Game Boy Advance, DS, and the new PSP. Two games at a time. No shipping charges either way, too. How about that? You keep the games as long as you want. No late fees. All the games you want, go to Gamefly.com. That's Gamefly.com slash XM. And plug in XM in the promo code, and you'll get a special secret offer. It's great. It's Gamefly.com. All right. We're going to bring uh, Lady Di and Marion back into the studio and Sandy Kane and what is that guy? The Blue Bunny? The... Scotty. Scotty, is he going to actually do something today or is he just kind of going to do what he's doing? I don't know. All right. We go to break with this uh, little thing that uh, Steve put together for uh, Stalker Patty. Hey, nice car, Patrice. You're keeping it up well. <laughs> <laughs> and don't fuck with it. Bigger. That's a damn good one. Don't, oh shit. Two tickets for Patrice, Earth, Wind, and Fire, and Little Brother. <laughs> Oh, man. Hey, if XM oh. wants to show me the love today, give me those U2 tickets for Friday night at the, oh. at the Garden. Oh. Ugh, you're not doing that. Fuck yeah. You're making an on-air plea for tickets That's to right, XM. I am. That's right, I am. i got to go see U2 Friday night. Elo's working on it. He better work right on now. it. 
And if they hand me Islander tickets, I'm 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 not taking them. I got season tickets for the Islanders already. I'm <laughs> oh, sorry. I'll be very thankful when <laughs> you I, better when, be when I get tickets for something I don't need. What's my surprise? Yankee tickets, right? Better be. <laughs> better be playoff tickets, World Series tickets. All I know is everyone's something. panicking around here. They're trying to get us tickets for stuff. Just want to let people know I, I just got four season tickets for the New York Islanders. You ever heard of a ticket broker? The check is going out today. <laughs> <laughs> All right. As we go to break, Steve did this. Uh, Stalker Patty and Big A went out recently. And uh, did Robert Kelly blowing up, man. And, of course, Patrice O'Neill, yes. who fell on the floor. <laughs> Always welcome in this studio, morning, Patrice O'Neill. Very doing? important Funny day. We're celebrating a year at XM Satellite Radio, and a FedEx package has just arrived. Uh, ben, what is this? Well, these are gifts from Don and oh, the people at XM. So yeah. Here's Anthony's. Let me see. <laughs> ah. Read it and on the air, Anthony. Let's see. The best part of XM is only a year. What? The best part of XM is only a year old, and there are many more to come. Yeah. How is he brand new? I can't say how proud we all are of you and Opie. Who knew this would be so huge for XM and all your fans? You guys make XM great. Happy anniversary, and have fun Friday night at the Yankee game. Wiki, nice. There it is. How about that? Friday night. I am going to see the Yankees. Nice. And, Opie, here's your gift. <laughs> Thank you, <Ben. laughs> Plus, if the Yankees go to the ALCS, you'll have two seats to that as well. Ooh, now we're getting some respect. I like it. So I'm going to go see the Yankees. In the playoffs. Opie, what are you going to? <laughs> Opie, thanks for all of the hard work for the past year. You have no idea of the impact that you guys have made on XM and the nation in such a short time. Looking forward to many more years with you and Ant. Take a glimpse at the Islanders' schedule. Pick some games. <laughs> you even get tickets. <laughs> and they're on us. Proud of you, bro. He got he got he got a calendar. <laughs> I'd like to know where these seats are. Are these going to be good seats? Yeah, you're sitting with Rudy Giuliani. I, I'm sitting it? with Giuliani. No, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I got, stupid. I got the Islanders um, game schedule. And you're going to an Islander game. Opie, aren't you an Islander season ticket holder? I'm buying four <laughs> season tickets today. So you're. Oh no! Jesus. Oh no! Jesus. Oh Ben, Ben's walking out of the studio. Oh, Opie, you ingrate! Oh, hey, Opie, I would have went. Come on! Yeah, black guy in a hockey That's game. That's what I was oh, saying. I mean, I wanted to learn. Nice try. <laughs> nice. <laughs> wow, you are the worst. Jesus. <laughs> You are just an ingrate. Uh, look at Anthony looking at his I know, beautiful gift. I'm very gift. excited. Game three. That's nice. Angels, Yankees. <laughs> you have to shred it like you're putting it in a rabbit cage. <coughs> oh, boy. Oh, man. Oh, boy. Season <laughs> tickets, to the, <laughs> tickets to the season ticket holders. Hey, listen. <laughs> no. Free pan pizza at the... <laughs> <laughs> I see who's more important here. Hey, Anthony's well. got actual tickets well, to a game. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. can pick and I got one. <laughs> and you're <laughs> like, yeah, pick hey, seats. We'll see what hey, we can do. Let me know. <laughs> I'll talk to I'll talk to a guy that knows a guy. Yeah. They gave, they gave Opie the uh, the finger gun. <laughs> there you go, son. There you go. By by the way, if you like Subway subs, <laughs> bang bang. Oh, you got a. You know where I'm sitting? Oh, oh, oh pull it up great. over here, Than. Hmm. What a what a what a game! Oh, you. you get to go to both that, no. games. No. Well, if they go no. to ACLS, do you have actual tickets there? Let me see. They're en route. 
I don't have tickets yet, but uh, I, but you I have, have tickets. tickets, but I just don't. I'm not in possession of them. I don't have to pick out my seat. And oh. and, 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 and 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 who you who you who you taking who you taking? <laughs> who are you taking, Anthony? I'm uh, taking uh, my uh, really my interested? my lovely my girlfriend. Come on, she doesn't like the baseball. She's a Mets fan. She's a Mets fan. Let me go. Yeah, but why don't you go? Yeah. Why don't you bring Anthony? And maybe he, maybe when he finds bring out, bring Anthony. I, I mean, you t- motherfucker! Can you get the name straight? It's Opie <laughs> and Anthony. <laughs> Who looks Italian? Ass. Bill Burr is never mixed never up. Never made a mistake. Never. <laughs> The whole He's OP Anthony there. thing is very obvious. <laughs> yeah. hey, we get very it, pissed off when people come up to us and go, well, which so one's which, which one's OP? Take two seconds and figure think. it out. There's a Dago and a fucking <laughs> Nick. Jesus, whatever Paul. you are. I don't know. Jesus, yeah. Rich. Uh, easy there. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not get that stupid. He was, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> I made a simple mistake. <laughs> you guys, let's oh, say hi yeah. to little Jimmy Norton. It's Jimmy. Jimmy. What's up, boys? Oh. Oh, oh, get boy. him off. We're having Jim. so much fun without him. Get <laughs> 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 off the street, you motherfucker. Jimmy. Jesus. Jimmy. No, hold on. Patrice, do you understand why you have three friends like this? <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy, we're having a really good show today. Oh. Good. Oh, no. Jim. <laughs> oh, no. I'm <laughs> Doesn't he, sound, doesn't he just sound all like... You know who's there with Jim? Vic Damone. <laughs> hey, me and Jim are hanging out together. <laughs> Vic Damone. We just had Damone from Fast Times at Richmond High on our show. Nothing but the the best guest for our show today. Well, he's really hard to get, man. He's doing like some kind of a big radio thing. He's got like uh, a call in he's doing somewhere else next month. No one is talking to that guy. No, not at all. But I made uh, Patrice fall on the floor, though. Why? Would you throw a piece of candy there? Well, <laughs> well, we got uh, his, uh, I guess we got his bio with all the movies he's been in, and Patrice was making fun of him because he's a teacher, and basically asked him, are you teaching because you can't act, or you're, you're, you're not getting acting roles? <laughs> yeah, exactly. But he's been in all these Who Cares, uh, Who Care movies, so I'm like, yeah, Patrice, were you in Valerie Flake? As, as we're looking at all the movies he was in. The, what part did you play in Tychus? The, the best one is Tychus. Tychus. <laughs> You was in Tigers, nigga? <laughs> Hell yeah. I was Sam in Tigers. I was in Tigers. <laughs> so uh, that was fun, and uh, he went away pretty sad, I guess. Yeah. Oh, uh, you guys had to give him a good smashing? No, but, well, he started oh, talking was... about being a teacher and I, or having kids or something. I just yelled out, boring, and Patrice fell on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> the way you said it. You, just, you went, boring. <laughs> you rang it like a bell. And then oh. we had... Phil Gordon, who's a poker legend, he played uh, rock paper scissors with Anthony for a hundred dollars. Hundred bucks, and I lost. He lost three to two. God damn it! And what else happened? We got uh, the retarded Laverne and Shirley. Oh, you gotta say hi to them. Bring them back in. Uh, they hi, came by. This is all for our big one year at XM, by the way, Jimmy. I know. That's why I'm calling in just to say happy anniversary. But Jimmy's uh, calling. I want to know what's happening with Jimmy Norton. Well, hold Nothing. on. Hold on, we gotta tell him about the blue bunny that's here. A six oh. four guy that's in a, a bodysuit with bunny ears. Why? Uh, we don't, <laughs> why? We don't know why. <laughs> hey, oh, and Norton, you are no longer to call Rich Rich Voss. He is Rich <laughs> McFarland from now on. <laughs> and Anthony, why don't you tell Jimmy what uh, XM got you for a year of service? XM got me tickets wrong with to the uh, Yankees Angels game this Friday. Oh, that's great. How cool is that? You know, Yoshi almost got those for me while I was here. Really? Yeah, because yeah. you're over there. You could go. Exactly. So the one-year anniversary and my Asian pornography friend, same gift. Um, Anthony, why don't you tell Jimmy what I got? Uh, Opie, Opie got um, uh, a key to well, his own house. Yeah, it was. <laughs> I can't even say you got tickets to an Islander game. They said, pick a seat. We'll see what we can do. To an Islanders game. Wow. Yeah, I get, you know, well, Ant, playoff tickets. Ant's got definite baseball playoff <laughs> tickets, and I was handed an Islander schedule. <laughs> an Islander schedule. And pick out, pick out a game you would like to go to, which is nice, but obviously. He's a season ticket holder. But, but I'm a season ticket holder. I, um, I'm i buying four tickets today, matter of fact. Hey, um, guy, what's the blue bunny guy? He's, uh, he's like 6'4", at least. I don't know. And he's right. really strange. Where's Bob Kelly? What's up, buddy? I'm right here. All right. I heard you were being very unpleasant to me yesterday. I didn't care for it at all. Oh, just a bit. Just, just a, a bit. bit. We weren't. Well, I wasn't alone. <laughs> <laughs> if I could quote Robert Kelly, I do believe he said, Jim who? 
Oh God! You said, did you say that, Bob? Uh, you know what, Jim? I believe I repeated that. <laughs> no, I, <laughs> you, I don't believe I. I was the. I, I believe I repeated that. Robert started it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it took a I didn't clockwise start it, but I, turn around the console. I, I did put the first down payment on the T-shirts that we haven't made. As we all took turns uh, bashing um, your insecurities, pretty much. Let me let me tell you something. Let me tell you these little shitheads on the message board something. I am going nowhere. If they want me, uh, this gig, you have to thumb my asshole and drag me out of there screaming and kicking. I am never leaving that studio voluntarily. Well, well, well it's not your choice. Dude. Yeah, we're not talking about voluntarily. I mean, well, it's not your choice. You're an employee. Well, <laughs> listen to this guy. You listen, know, are you talking? Are you talking to me? Or are you talking to Bobby about Dane Cook? <laughs> oh! <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, Bob. Oh. Norton is making sure oh, there's yeah. no suicide in his future. <laughs> See, Robert, you we said, said that about him yesterday. You oh. said you were, you were trying to kill yourself, Norton, but you didn't know how because you're impervious to everything. Jumping, yeah. drowning. <laughs> they said, they said you, would, you would bounce if you hit the ground, <laughs> and you can't drown yourself because you're a scallop and they live underwater. <laughs> Oh. But horrible people. Jimmy, you know the publicity shot of Ant and I and you where it's just your head on the console? I do. I'm very well aware of that shot. Well, uh, Robert Kelly decided it would be really funny <laughs> yeah. to remove your head and put his head in your place. Yeah. So now in the studio, it's uh, Robert Kelly's head on the console. Oh, that's kind of cute. Bob's funny at that, like taking... Taking like a little head and doing another one on. I mean, that's kind of cool. <laughs> well, mine's gonna be taken off today, and then they're gonna put the uh, the uh, real uh, host of the show, <laughs> Billy Burr. <laughs> I can't. Bob, you know, you should take your head and paste it on the front of a pizza box. That's, <laughs> that's just mean, Jimmy. That's just mean. Don't get mad at me because Billy Burr is funny. <laughs> I'm only here once. I've been here one time. Uh, That's because no. Billy's on the road. No, it's been exactly stupid. So Bill, Billy, believe me, gave your spot a good kicking out. This was your time to shine, stupid. And I didn't. Like I did my whole life, dummy. I know. I stink. Bob, don't make it real. We're having fun. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Jimmy, you, know, you could hear right with <laughs> Bob trying to play mental psychology <laughs> games. And you should have seen the blood come out of his ears. Sorry, dude. I didn't. And I really did. Okay. I right. get carried away. Only the best. Billy, Go ahead. Get it, tears of a clown. We're all hurt. <laughs> <laughs> only, only the best for little Jimmy Norton as you spend some time in Hollywood. We got someone that wants to say hi to you from your past. Go ahead. Hi, Jim. How are you? <laughs> how are you, miss doing, you? Jimmy? Oh. Hi, hi, how are you? Good. We miss you. Thank you. How's everything going in L.A.? Good. Hey, <laughs> when are you coming back? All right. It's 12. <laughs> All right. He, the, Jimmy will be back a week from today. Okay. He's going to be on the Tonight Show on Monday, ladies. Jesus, this is your third time on that. Year, right? I'll, I'll watch oh, yeah. for you. Take oh, thanks. That was good. <laughs> Why is Lady Di all excited? Lady Di looks like, uh, I don't know, Looks she looks she still looks like she's an alcoholic, but she doesn't look as bad. She doesn't I'm look not. as uh, Mama threw me from the train. Not as no, bad as no. you looked uh, last time. But you uh, definitely thank you got very s- much. But yeah. you definitely got some liver damage happening. No, I don't. Let's no. be honest. You no, had to have. Let's be honest. Oh, you you had to have. No, I don't. Oh, uh, looks yes. like a mixture between Janis Joplin and Fred Flintstone. <laughs> Jimmy. <laughs> Janis Joplin and Fred Flintstone. <laughs> <laughs> wow. What was the only one? Oh, the, uh, what was the only one that floored us today? What the two of them look like? Oh, so you look like a, uh, a melted Barbie doll. A meatloaf and David Bowie. Meatloaf and David Bowie. And, uh, melted and Barbie doll. And Louise after they drove off the cliff. <laughs> <laughs> and then and then Patrice said that Marion is sporting what? Jimmy. Three different hairstyles. <laughs> three <laughs> hairstyles of three different ethnic groups. <laughs> That's an afro. Uh, <laughs> an afro, a mullet. A mullet. <laughs> That's the new look. We look good. Hey, Jim, I lost a lot more weight. Uh, did you? Yeah. He doesn't right. care. Why he oh, come care? on. He doesn't care. He doesn't kind care. of miss you, buddy. I hope to buddy. see you soon. Right. We will see you soon. Weight. You should lose weight in Sloan Kettering with radiation blast. No. <laughs> no. I lost weight. I'm not sick. Believe me. I'm healthy. Very healthy. All right, ladies. Right. We're going to talk to Jimmy now, okay? Okay. All right. Thank you. Thanks, lady. I'm very Jimmy, very I didn't welcome. call you back last night. I apologize. That's fine, man. But what? Honestly, I don't care. We should bring this up on the air, though. So you ran into Dice. Yes, I saw him. Um, well, we kind of teased this earlier, and I said, well, when Jimmy, you know, calls in today, we'll talk about it a little bit. 
Yeah, we talked at the comedy store. It was good to see him, actually. Uh, it was the first time I talked to him in almost two years. And, uh, you know, it was nice to see him. He's doing well. Right. And and uh, he said the reason he hasn't come on our show yet is because he needs to talk to me personally. And uh, I actually, that's why I want to bring it up on the air. I feel like a real idiot today. Because we really, stupid us, we really thought it was personal shit. Maybe he didn't want to talk about or we don't we don't know. And we're, yeah. and we're like, we don't do our show that way, obviously. But I guess it comes down, he wanted to give... Uh, Give condolences to me personally about the loss of my father. I'm caring yeah. and sensitive, jerk off, okay? Well, he's, he's like, I can't go on the air and just do that stuff that we do on the air without talking to him first. He's like, it was too, he, he, you know, that's the way he is, too. So I definitely believe him. I mean, it was just, a, he just one of those guys, he has to talk to you about that and clear that air and tell you how he feels before Well, he it's been a year. What about a phone call? Well, well you know, he did call. He did call, and I didn't call, call him back because I thought... How it, long ago was that? Uh, this goes back a while. You know, so I it's feel your like, fault. I feel like a complete ass today. Yes, I'm calling myself out today. Wow. Um, yeah, and th that's all he wanted was to talk to me personally, and uh, you know, and give his condolences. I had yeah. no idea. I thought it was about. Aww. I thought it was about some of the nonsense that happens when you hang out with Dice. Yeah, I thought. I thought it was because he hated me. And it was all kinds of all weird. sorts of shit was go was going on, and I'm like, you know what? Then fuck it. Then we don't. We'll do the show without Dice. But now it turns out that I was the idiot. Who needs dice, though, Bob? You did the garden, too, didn't you? Yeah, with with Dane Cook. <laughs> yeah, but, you know, Jimmy. <laughs> I, I, you did, well, you did the garden, too, though, Jimmy. Yes, I did. Yeah, but I, I said this to Robert Kelly yesterday. Um, he warmed up for Dane Cook. Everyone knows it now. And uh, he fucking killed yeah. in front of 5,000 people. When I was, was very that? impressed. A couple weeks ago. A couple weeks ago. He was at the garden a couple weeks ago? Yeah. Yeah. So, all right. So I, got, I owe uh, Dice a call so we can maybe work that out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he's doing good. And uh, I didn't watch his set because I was outside talking to Rogan, which was Rogan's just an animal. He's just a fucking animal, and he was talking about how he's going to choke Wesley Snipes. He's really going to hurt Wesley Snipes. Wesley Snipes he's got a problem with? Why? why? They're, they're fighting, dude. They're going to do a fight. We knew he had a problem with... Uh... Wait, they're going to do a real but, fight? But Wesley can fight, too. Wesley, like, is a, yeah. is another... But I think Rogan's an animal, Rogan but is... Wesley's a train... Like, he's like some super fifth degree something. Rogan's right? got a lot of martial arts training, <laughs> Rogan's too, Rogan's a beast. Like, Rogan's yeah. an ultimate fighter type of dude. Yeah, yeah, that's what he, he does. He trains, like... Crazy. Snipes, though, you never bet against a black guy. Yeah. Ever. Don't bet oh, against, never always bet bet against on, black. Right. Always, always bet, bet on black, <laughs> dummy. Always bet on black. <laughs> when you bet on the white guy, when he's angry with Big Fist and he's from South Boston. Yeah, I, I, would, I would have to take Joe Rogan in that fight. I, only because I Rogan. think Joe might train, but, I mean, Wesley's not a, a punk, man. What's the know. problem? Wesley's called him out, though. Wesley, Wesley's trying to, do, for some reason, I think he's broke, so he's trying to get guys to fight him. He got he asked one guy who said no. But then he went to Rogan. Well, he's, yes. he's going to, he's, all his, his movies are straight to, to, to VHS now or something. Like his, what happened to Blade? He played two. Where's the Blade, Blade money? That's it. Blade he three. He has the Blade money. That's enough. Hey, man, nigga rich, man. I, look what at else? Me. I got four hundred and sixty-two dollars and eight cents, but I got. But you have nine hundred. <laughs> you have nine hundred pairs of sneakers. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Oh, I'm, I can't. I'm, I'm sorry. You know, your so, cell phone doesn't need diamonds on it. Gotta say, <laughs> what the hell he's been doing? <laughs> the guy was in. All right, he's got the Blade, Blade Two, Blade Trinity. He was in a few movies. To Wong Fu. White Man uh, White Can't, man can't jump, jump. Jungle Fever. A little Jungle Fever, sure. Mo Better Blues. The Marshall, The Marshall. Uh, what was, the football was that movie, movie he did years ago? Uh, Wild Cats. Waiting to Exhale. Valerie Flake. I would say he was an egg celebrity for a <laughs> while, though. He was. He was, he was definitely a lister. <laughs> oh, and yeah. he still, and he might still be a list because Wesley's still known. Like, I didn't realize yeah. his career had took a, you know. Uh, Murder at 1600. That was pretty U.S. Marshall. That was you know what Marshall? messed him up? Trying to be a black, uh, like a, uh, a black, black action hero. Yeah. Like Blade was good because it's a black, it's a black comic book. But he was trying to do too much karate. I saw him and like Denzel in the same category for a <clears> while. <throat> well, he was like a leading. He was like the the the, the hood leading man. Like Denzel was like. The, the certified right. act act with white women leading man, <laughs> <laughs> and Wesley Snipes was the certified act with black women. Hold on, Cindy yeah. King is getting really pissed off outside what the studio. What is she mad at now? Because uh, the, what is she angry? Because the blue at? bunny didn't get enough time. The, what what did he? T Sandy, what's wrong? Sandy. He came all the way in there. Sandy, all right, get on mic, Jim. He, he put his bunny costume. Hold on, wait hold till on. that's on. He patted his balls and shit, and and you know, he's not even on. Man. But he was on. But what is it, Sandy? You, you got to think. Focus for a minute. Oh no, hold on. Hold. Focus. Focus. 
What does he do? He's hysterical. But Talk what? To okay, him. Hold on, hold on, hold on. He's Jewish. But what could? What he's does a he... Jew, man. He's funny, and he's a, he's got a shtick besides having a dick. <laughs> Three thousand miles away. Oh, <laughs> Jimmy doesn't miss this. No, talk place. to him, man. Come on, come you don't miss this, Jimmy. Him, talk All right, him. bring him in. Bring him in. Bring in the blue bunny. You know, Sandy, you, you look like <laughs> a fucking egg. You, hey, fuck Sandy, you, Patrice. You look like Ooh. a. Look at you, man. You, you are look, fucking ugly bastard. You look Ooh. like a. Wow. You fucking ugly, man. Ooh. I wouldn't fuck you. You look like an unwrapped mummy. Well, fuck you. <laughs> look at you, you fat fuck. You're a fat fuck, man. He doesn't eat pizza. He eats pizza huts. <laughs> See, you to eat a pizza hut, man. Oh, my God. Uh, <laughs> he's been spot on with everything he's... <laughs> he's just, every way he's described... Why don't you lose some fucking spot weight, spot on. Man. Yeah. I'm just saying, man. You have a great face for radio, Patrice. Uh, you should, why don't you have titties or something? Man? I'm just saying, man. How can you fucking talk? You're old. Yeah. Hey, so are you. <laughs> no, he's not. Uh, to me, he's old. He's half your age. He is? How do you know? It's he's so fat, you can't see the wrinkles. <laughs> hey, she hey, got you there, Patrice. No, oh. no, 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 no. Dick. He's got like three stomachs, you can't even see the dick. What'd you, was, what, what'd you call her? First earlier? used on Fatty Arbuckle, <laughs> that joke. <laughs> Patrice. Oh, man. How can you Patrice, yeah. what'd you call her earlier? Melted Barbie doll? Oh, she <laughs> <laughs> What well, Barbie doll that got dropped in the oven. <laughs> you know, Scotty, I'd sooner fuck you with my vibrator than any of these fucks. This is all right. This is now, the most okay. comfortable situation now, I've uh, ever Blue been Bunny, in my whole she life. says you're hysterical, funny. What do you do? What do you actually do? What's your act? I host a lot of shows downtown, sing, uh -huh. dance, run around in a bunny outfit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's burlesque. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. It's burlesque. Uh -huh. It's remember no, I told you that burlesque. I'm sorry. Uh -huh. We're sorry. I'm letting you down. Norton, just so no, you get an idea what he looks like. I just like. wanted to know what you did. He looks like Dan Fouts in a. <laughs> Dan Fouts. <laughs> Jesus. He looks like Dan Fouts in a buddy costume with a giant log. <laughs> you did. Do you pack? Do you pad the front of that bunny suit? Not at all. Well, you not at all. Why you stand up? Not at all. But I just want to know if, if I'm you're, right here. I'm if right here. Whatever that. you want to. Truly, no, the I first time I no. met Scott, he took his dick out. I was in the slipper room, and he was so excited to see me. He was drunk, and he took his dick out. Oh yeah. Hi, Sandy, and he shook shook it. I hope oh, that's on I for shook eight his dick. Hours. Sorry, Sandy. No, no, I'm just saying that. Hours. I'm gonna be at stand up New York um, Thursday night, 11 p.m. <laughs> I want everyone to come down. And when are you gonna be at Slipper Room? Yeah, when are you gonna be there? You can check my website, ScottyBunny.com. All my gigs. You're gonna get a lot of hits today, Scotty. Are, um, yeah. You didn't get a lot of air time, but you're gonna get that's a lot of okay. hits on the website. It's all right. Did you Gotta... change or walk here like that? <laughs> I flew here. You. Blue. Yeah, the the streets of Manhattan. You, you have just, I'm a homosexual. I can you do a lot of things around. normal. You get away with a lot of stuff. Yeah. Being would you? Would you? Yeah. Love, which one do you like out of all these guys? It's all right. We don't need to know. Come why? All at once. Well, I mean, all at once. Homosexual, a big man. bunny gangbang. Uh, sure. Would, would, would you do them all at once? Would you? Are you yeah, that tight? Yeah, yeah. Would you do them all at once? Now the guy's quiet. The guy that pointed my dick out to everybody else in the first place is quiet. I'm not. Hey, I'm okay. not a homophobic. I do you. All right, cool. <laughs> Can I get dinner out of it? Yeah, whatever. All right, if I eat first. See, and you won't even have to kill me to fuck me. I'll let you fuck me. I'll still be alive. <laughs> you fuck me. I, I think you've been tracking. I think his, I think his face looks like uh, Sandy's cooch. <laughs> you didn't even look at my cooch, man. Oh All right, let God. Jimmy say something. Jimmy, yeah. Jimmy. Wait, is, is this the big one-year anniversary? <laughs> yeah. yeah. You, have, you have Sandy Kane, Laverne and Shirley, and a faggot and a blue bunny outfit. <laughs> Oh, that's that's Mr. Faggot to you, whoever the hell you are. Ooh. Jim Norton. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, oh. Who is he? Who is he? He's a big uh, star. He's in Hollywood. His name well, is John here. Norton. Oh, Jim. He was in a little movie called Valerie Flake. <laughs> <laughs> and his new thing is Lucky Louie. Uh, Lucky, Lucky Louie on HBO, my right? Friend is, uh, he, he, my friend is. My friend Daniela was just on the set there with um. Right. She's engaged Seconds? to. Seconds? Blue Bunny. Rich, what's, wow. the, what's the plug Shapiro. again? ScottyBunny.com. ScottyBunny.com. Thank you. Stand Jimmy, up thank New York, you. I'll call you later. Stand up New York. <laughs> We're running Bye, out of Jimmy. Show. Robert Kelly Live. Com. Patrice O'Neill, thank you. Anything? Real uh, fast. My, my HBO special, October 7th. That's uh, Friday. And uh, I'll be in. Uh, 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 that's it. I'm out of here.